Hello again, welcome back to the how-tos. One of the most immediate things you need to get used to is how to clean the bowl. And I know that sometimes this causes a little bit of frustration in the early days because it's difficult. The, the base is very tightly um, on to the bowl. And so what I want to do is just, I've covered it in a different video, but maybe you haven't seen that one. If, you, if you're right, if you right-handed, with your left hand, hold the top, not the blades, the, the top bit. So you can get a good firm grip there. Use your body to give you purchase. And you're going to be turning the base because you'll see that there's a line there, the base away from the handle. So that little bit, you're going to turn it anti-clockwise. And of course, mine comes away really easily because it's, so this is still in my hand. I've removed it from the hole. I've then got a bowl which can go into the dishwasher or be cleaned um, very simply. So um, to put it back in, place it through the hole again until it's, it's um, properly in, the base is on, and you're going to, of course, turn it clockwise this time, so it's towards you, and that bit is easy. Um, as I say, after three or four times, it's easy on every bowl, but I know, um, you know, if you haven't got somebody strong there, if you've got a bit of arthritis, it's a real annoying to put it would not use any other words, but it's a bit, bit annoying. Anyway, it gets easier, much, much easier. Now, if you're going to use your Thermomix for the best things, one of those best things is definitely curry. So when you're using spices like turmeric, turmeric's a bit of a, you know, bleep, bleep, um, to get off at the best of times. And while you'll find that it comes off the metal, really quite easily you know you'll probably put it in the dishwasher on a hot wash and then you're absolutely fine the lids do get stained um so you know one of the ways to try and avoid the staining is to be aware that they get stained so when the curry is cooking to make sure that you haven't got a lot of spillage that is actually lying on there with the turmeric and unless you've got your bowl really, really full, that should reason be reasonably easy. However, don't fret because, um, well, there's a couple of solutions. One, I keep a bowl for savoury and I keep a bowl for sweet. So my bowl that's going to be doing my meatballs and curries and all that sort of thing, um, you know, I just t t take it, w uh, t uh, you know, I go with the flow on that one. Um, I don't think there's any smell in here, but if there's a, re a remnant for a couple of days or a couple of, or, you know, a couple more meals that I'm going to do in there, I don't fret about it because I'm not cooking a lemon tart or anything in there. Anyway, you're talking about lemon tarts. Lemon juice, raw lemon juice, is the, the one of the best things to get these stains off the lid. And if you can have the lemon and a day like today where I've got bright sunlight um, just run the lemon not the juice so much just actually press the the half lemon onto the bowl both sides obviously see you can see that that is a slightly greened one uh, my other one's perfect because it's my my sweet lid um, uh, on both sides leave it out in the sun not always possible but leave it out in the sun you'll find a great great improvement Bicarbonate of soda in the with lemon juice as opposed to the washing up liquid will also help your bowl. Um, you know, it may be a couple of days, don't fret, it's not the end of the world. Um, and if you use your Thermomix a lot, you are quickly going to want two bowls. Um, you know, I know that, I'm not just saying that. I don't, there's no benefit to me in you having two bowls other than, you know, I realise you're going to be using your Thermomix a lot more and you will love having two bowls. Um, other suggestions for um, uh, for cleaning, should you take it off every time? You don't have to. If I'm doing smoothies in the morning, I don't need to put it in the dishwasher. I don't need to take the base off. 
Um, I've got um, I've got a brush which um, cleans in and out of um, <laughs> actually the purposes of the video looking a bit frayed. I need to pull out a new one. Um, but it looks a bit like a loo brush. But we we joke that it's the Thermomix loo brush. Uh, but we tend not to do lose it in the loo. So. Um, when cleaning, when, when there's no desperate staining or anything in there, of course, what you're going to do is use the pre-clean. And so the pre-clean, don't ask me why it's called pre-clean, it's a clean function. Um, that will clean um, at the desired um, temperature of water. If you fill the bowl, well, fill the bowl, a litre, 500 to a litre of water, if you do that, um, it will obviously take less than five minutes. So go for it. A little, tiny little scoosh of um, washing up liquid. You won't need loads, otherwise it's going to be overflowing. Anyway, lovely to talk to you again. Get back to me with any queries and thanks for watching.